What's going on YouTube back here in the indoor grow room checking everything out got a Couple special guests the three guys from the windowsill under the LEDs are in here uh, They don't stay in here, but they're just here for a small visit pit bulls over here hanging out looking pretty look at that face Ooh. anyway Gigant might as well start with the biggest one, right? Gigantic Mako. Check out the size of this guy. Still in a double cup. It, uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got a bunch of roots growing right out of the bottom there. But it's looking great. Ah, dropping leaves. Um, anyway, um, yeah. If you can see up in here, it's kind of hard to see. But there are bud or yeah, buds all over the place all up in here there's a flower that looks like it's dropping so that's cool might turn into like this guy it does not want to show up but that was a flower and that is my very first mako cuckoo pod so i've got my very first pod of 2017 wow that's gonna get some uh getting used to um but other than that it's looking pretty good i uh, was gonna point out the edema where's the edema a couple of these leaves have edema really, really bad. And I think it's this one right here. Yeah, that one does. But it's not going to show up on camera. But uh, I don't know what the deal is with the edema. Um, I want to say it's the LED that caused the edema. But I swear, for some reason, it showed up like a day or two before I installed the lights. But uh, that's what's just going on with my mind. I keep thinking of that. Um... Also, my beautiful little contest Reaper, uh, Carolina Reaper, looking very nice. It's looking very weird and awkward with bigger leaves in the cup and stuff. That's because I replanted it. Um, it, I, well, I have it written on the side of the cup here. I uh, planted it 11.1, it came up 11.15. That's all the bigger it is. And it's, it's just been so slow, and I was wondering what the heck was going on. I didn't even have any perlite in the uh, soil. It was pretty much straight potting mix. And uh, I threw it in there, and that's where it was growing. So I pulled all that out. It actually does have a very nice root mass. And actually, it has roots coming out already. That's like one day of growing. And now it already has roots coming out. Feeding it Master Blend. Uh, my Master Blend container back there. Um, of course. And uh, I swear it has gotten like... I don't know, uh, an eighth bigger so far, wider that is, uh, in leaf growth. Leaf growth? Yeah, that. Uh, but anyway, that's my beautiful reaper. Um, my uh, avocado, if you remember, it had uh, three leaves that were looking very crappy. Well, they fell off. Now I've got this. I've got new growth right there coming out of the center. Um, yeah, I don't know. And it's still in water, still. And uh, also, my cutting here, of my pink tiger. Look at that thing, man. Nice root growth, so I guess I should go ahead and plant it. A uh, couple new leaves and stuff like that. Nothing really new on the top. I haven't really seen it start to grow or anything. Um, I've got my seed container back here. Seed starting container. I love using those with um, the containers you buy uh, plant starts in. I just like to fill them up with some soil and everything, but that is not coming up for me this year. So maybe that is not a good way. I went to the egg carton method, and uh, that's where I got a bunch of these ones coming up. Uh, actually, I got a bunch of them out of there, but I got a bunch of them coming out of these things too. And look at this. Even have another one right there. There is a cucumber. And uh, I haven't grown cucumber in so long that I forgot all about them. So, this year, I made an effort to go ahead and throw them in there. You having a good time here, puppy dog? Yeah? Okay. Uh, right over here, if that's going to show up, my white devil's tongue. Look at that. Looking beautiful. Just starting to throw off some new true leaves and everything like that. Um, and starting to look big. We got two in there. This one over here does not have true leaves yet, but it's coming. I've got a yellow Trinidad Maruga Scorpion, and that guy has true leaves. Look at that. Looking very, very nice. Um, next to it, I've got my King Naga with another King Naga way down below. Did I say I got these from Susan? 
Susan sent me the White Devil's Tongue, and uh, Aaron sent me this pod for the uh, King Naga, which I tried on my uh, channel. It's one of my videos from last year on the pod reviews, and uh, these were seeds that I took out of it. So I planted a couple, and look at that. Two came up. The little tiny one down there even has true leaves. So moving right along so far with our super hots. I uh, don't have a lot, but I do... Uh, like the ones that I already do have. So here's a BTR that Susan sent me. It's been long and scraggly and everything. But uh, still no true leaves yet. Coming. Uh, again, ones that Susan sent me. The Daisy Cutter. You can see uh, the foreground. Actually, everybody really is starting to uh, true leaves. But the one in the back there. That one barely has any true leaves starting. But it's coming right along. Um, yeah, so that's the Daisy Cutter. Um, for the aquaponic garden, I've got some brandy wines. Look at that true leaves starting on the brandy wine already. Uh, another brandy wine right next to it. These are tomatoes, and uh, in case you didn't know, um, another one right there about to start uh, with true leaves. I've got another two right here in this one, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, three. There's a little tiny one if you can see that right down there next to those two and uh, one of them's got true leaves starting this one is very weird i tried to catch it very early right there that white dot there's a piece of perlite right next to it but that white dot to the left that is uh what is it, my cuke yeah my cucumber so i'm not sure if that's actually going to take off and that brandy one was a helmet head and it's still kind of on there yeah it's still on there so what the heck is this cobweb or something but anyway, that's my other brandy wine. Come back over here. Look down from the lights with the cobwebs all over my hand. What the heck is going on here? Um, shop lights were in the garage. That's where the spiders live. If you can see that moving around in the background, I believe that's some fungus gnats that came with my soil. Hey, they were free. But uh, yeah, and I didn't do this freeze your soil or throw it in the oven for a while. I don't really agree with the throw it in the oven part, but, uh, or the whatever, oven for 120 or something for like, whatever. Um, the freeze I would go a little bit more with, but you know, it is supposed to be a living thing. So probably don't really want to like do anything crazy with it. But anyway, these, I don't know. I, that's why I've never done it. I, maybe that's an experiment I should try. But, um, over here, all of these little guys right here in uh, different cups here. These are the broccoli that I'm growing for the aquaponic gardens. Uh, maybe I'll throw a couple in a pot or something like that outside. Never really had luck with uh, broccoli or cauliflower. Or no, never had luck with cauliflower. Never had luck with broccoli or cabbage in uh, anything but aquaponics. But uh, as you can see, they're getting a bunch of new leaves there, uh, true leaves, I guess, and stuff like that. So they're starting to get big. Right over here, if that's coming in, it does not look like it's coming in. That was labeled as my Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion that I said took 109 days to come up. Guess what? It's not. It's some kind of weed. I have no clue what it is. And then since it's already in there, I'm going to go ahead and let it grow out a little bit. Earlier today, it had like four leaves there and it like spread them all open and it just kind of closed them up. I guess it's supposed to be the nighttime. It is dark outside. So, but anyway, I don't have a Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion. So I'm out of that contest. I guess I'm only in the Mako and the, uh, um, uh, reaper contest as of right now still have seeds waiting um these guys right over here two more daisy cutters from susan looking awesome uh the one on the right there is still holding on to its seed uh we'll see if that one lets go and who was it oh yeah this one right here the daisy cutter to the in the foreground right there that one had a helmet head and i helped it off and that's why the leaves look so small because I ripped them off. You can see a seed down there below it. Um, right over here, that would be my yellow Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. My other one, looking very nice. Wrapping it on up, I've got my two peas. These guys are looking awesome. And uh, with the temperatures being what they've been outside, and they're actually really great for peas right now. So I'm thinking they probably won't be in here next week. I'm probably going to take them outside and just plant them right into uh, the aquaponics and see how they go. 
So, and they are really taking off. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but you've got right there and over here somewhere right there. I believe those are the mandrills, if I remember correctly, which are the little reach out and grabby dealies. So they're going to start doing that very soon. So I need to find them uh, some room by a trellis. So alrighty, that was not a lot of plants in here, but we're still waiting for more over there so all right well thanks for hanging out with me and the pit bull over here who is licking her paw and uh yeah it's been my look around my super hots and the other stuff that i've got growing on in here and uh yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below come back and check out uh what a mako cuckoo pod looks like when i've actually got this thing growing it is right there and, uh, you yeah, know, we'll find out that together if you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to throw me a thumbs up. Do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. I will catch y'all in the next video, hopefully with more plants. Till then. Later.